nearly like I think most people in my family, like nearly all generations live near the same area, like within an mm, hour drive. Yeah. And that's really weird to think about now that everyone lives within like an hour drive, like generations of family. So I'm like, wait, did no one have the idea to just like leave? Like, I, f I feel like as a kid, as a kid, you it's like really, it's a really like exotic idea to live somewhere else and be somewhere new. Right. But then I, I feel like you underestimate just how much you like comfort. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, 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 it really takes a lot for someone to be like, I'm going to live in a new country. Yeah. And even for those of us who live in different countries, um, I know, you know, there are a lot of things about home that I'm sure you miss. Mm. And even even if, you know, you really like the place that you live in, there's a lot of things you miss as well. Like it's, it's massive props to, you know, like I think all three of our parents, right? At least yeah. that, you know, had the balls to be like, I'm just gonna go to this country I know fucking yeah. nothing about. Yeah, so my, right. my, my parents took it pretty like easily for me. Yeah, because it's like country. Thailand to the UK, Philippines to America, yeah. and in my case, Japan to Australia, right? Yeah. Like it's yeah. like, yeah. The, like I, I've always wanted I had to- like five generations. <laughs> <laughs> that never moved. In the same town. <laughs> oh my yeah, my Lord. DNA test is like 100% British. Like there's no one in my family who's right. from any other country. Right. And yeah. any, any like, way. Well, because like you also like, you not only, well, your parents not only moved from the Philippines to America, mm -hmm. but they also moved to probably the most like non, like friendly uh, place yeah. for like non-white people, right? <laughs> yeah, so uh, I was technically born in Bakersfield, California because the labor clock was ticking. But then as soon as I was born, they went to um, uh, Virginia. And then I lived half my life in a place that honestly sounds like the beginning of like an RPG game. It's called Mechanicsville. <laughs> like, it sounds like something in Nino Cooney, honestly. Yeah, it is like a JRPG um, name. Yeah, and then I, I, I so starting half, village. Yeah, so Mechanicsville. What, what was weird is like I, ha I didn't even realize I had like this weird, I guess, almost country twang to my accent until I came to the West Coast to Las Vegas, and then people were teasing of like the way I say y'all or the fact I even say y'all a lot. Um, so I had to kind of like. I didn't realize that Virginia they say y'all. Yeah. Because it doesn't, because you look at it on a map and it's like, oh, that's nowhere near Texas. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, so of course- Texas not, is not the only place- No, but like just someone who knows nothing about America, right? right? Yeah. Like yeah. when you hear y'all, you immediately think, oh yeah, Texas. Yeah, you I think-, think Southerner. Like, yeah, that's, right? that's what I think. But like yeah, Virginia is yeah, yeah. not even in the South. It's like kind of halfway I mean, up on the East Coast. But it is also like kind of like the founding ground. So yeah, but no, kind of yeah, but no, most people don't yeah, no, know no that. Yeah, no one knows that except me. Yeah. I know that. Like, oh. Oh. I like US history. Oh, really? I like- Because <laughs> yeah, there's barely any of it. No, <laughs> no that's true. <gasps> yeah. Well, well, yeah, compared true, to the UK. <laughs> yeah, no, I, UK history is so fucking confusing. I like, went through a weird period where I was obsessed with your guys' history and culture. There's so much of it. And man. there's like so many bands that like I love that none of my friends in the US can relate to. Like, I think when we were at karaoke, Garnt was so surprised I was playing Kaiser Chief. I predict a ride right, because oh, yeah. that, that doesn't seem like, or, or take that shine. Like take take that. My just to give you like my mum and her friends love take that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the kind of demo that they have in the UK. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. the first time she was playing Take That and I saw the music video I was like, wow, the Backstreet Boys they're, got they're, really old. It's basically it's basically at the UK Backstreet Boys for middle aged women who are married. Yeah. Like, that's, that's kind of like their target demo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like that that's the thing, right? It's like it's not until you kind of like look deep into like the whole like US, I guess like geography that you realize that oh, just because it's not in a particular area, it doesn't necessarily mean they don't talk the same way, right? Like I thought, I don't know, I don't know what I thought people in Virginia sounded like. I thought maybe they sounded closer to like people from New York. Yeah, I don't know. I mean like New York's the, kind of like its own thing, isn't yeah. it? I, I feel like the way like the some Americans I, are probably hearing this right now and being like and cringing because yeah. I, I feel like the way we talk about American geography is how we feel when we hear Americans talk about Europe or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think like as someone from the UK, I, I, I think that British accents and like where they're laid out is 20 times more confusing. Oh, the I think they are. Yeah. The US is so easy to keep track of where someone's from based on yeah. their accent. Yeah. In the UK, yeah. it's like, oh, uh, this guy sounds completely different to person, like A person sounds different from B person. They could either be like two hours apart or literally five minutes in a different yeah, town. Yeah. Like, Cause what's, what's confusing about UK accents is that you can travel a small amount of distance oh, yeah. and have a widely varied accent. Well, I mean, just in London, there's like 20 different accents, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah, just exactly. a city. Yeah. 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 So like, you know, whereas in Australia, I think Australia is the only English speaking country that doesn't have regional dialects or accents. They just have like degrees of like, 
strength. <laughs> yeah, but the, but system. that's not based on where you are. That's right, based right, on right. how far off the coast you are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like the further the further inland you are, the less you're able to understand. It's them. just an Aussie scale, basically, and you you scale up. <laughs> you you scale up the further inland you go. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh yeah, you're definitely from the inland. If I can't understand what the fuck you're saying, yeah. because like you know, like Kevin, for example, right? He's yeah. from Perth, which is all all the way on the west coast, and I'm right. from the east coast, but. If you ask someone who doesn't know Australian accent, yeah, you do sound. We would sound exactly you, you, you the same. You sound exactly the same. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't work in America at all. Like in America, mm -hmm. you can clearly tell if someone's from can, New York versus California, right? Pretty well, yeah. I, like even like Louisiana or like like I don't, I don't know, like just from Texas to California, they just say like a lot. Yeah, I don't know. And I, yet, I wonder, did your obsession with the UK start with the crown? Is that why? No, actually, way before that. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. No, no, no. It's cool. Harry Potter. No, actually. Oh, okay. Where did your no. UK obsession? Yeah, where, where did you can normally pinpoint which show yeah. gets people into the Beatles? Like British. <laughs> yeah. I what, like what was the start of your tear boo <laughs> face? Uh, is the Black Butler? <laughs> Black Butler? <laughs> did it start with Black Butler? No, I thought. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't know. Like, is the Click Five British? Uh, what the I fuck's the Click Five? That. Come on. Man, I feel like I've what, what, what is it? It's a Bash? Because TV yeah, show? After, after you watched okay. The Crown, you were May, like- May, can you look I, up I'm, the Click Five? <laughs> yeah, after you watched The Crown, you were like- Are they Connor, British? I'm gonna learn Welsh. <laughs> what? Yeah, can huh? you just say that? Yeah. yeah. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> They're from Massachusetts. No, I, yeah. I don't know who the hell it was. I know, I know. I just listened to a band, and then it just got me into British music, and then from there, I just got into British culture. Well, I just happened to also be watching Harry Potter at the time. Yeah, I but guess then that you might watch, have somewhere in there. Yeah, but then you watched The Crown, and you told Connor, "Is like, I'm oh gonna fuck, learn Welsh. I love The yeah, Crown." You were like trying to like speak Welsh, and I was like, "Whoa." Yeah, no, no, no one does this. <laughs> what are you doing? Because it was so pretty. Like yeah, I was just like, you. man. Yeah. Thank you. It is. I, th I yeah. think everyone said no. So many people are like, wow, it sounds disgusting, and I'm like, you just really don't listen to it. No, I think I think Welsh sounds fucking dope. Good. Yeah, I like I, I like I, Welsh. I, I don't know. Best flag in disgusting. the world. Disgusting. Best flag in the world. <laughs> you seen all flags? It's a just a dragon. It's fucking epic. Isn't it? It's just a dragon. So fucking epic. I love that flag. <laughs> just a dragon. It's just a dragon. Imagine, yeah. imagine saying it's just a dragon. It's just a dragon. Go and play with your stars and stripes. I'm gonna go with a fucking dragon. 